Okay, folks, I'm going to show you how to, if you happen to own the movies, um, your PC game, which you can't buy anymore, by the way. It's owned by Activision, but they decided to remove it totally off, off of the, uh, the gaming market. So you're going to have to go to the Sneaky Pete areas to find the game so you can b get it. I was, uh, er, <laughs> it's so funny, I have the CD version somewhere now, and I can't find it. So I went looking to see if I could buy it on Steam, not there. GOG, not there. So I typed in, the only place I could buy it was on eBay and another place uh, which I do not trust. And um, I don't even trust eBay to be honest with you. But anyway, there is a place where you can grab it. But, uh, you know, I was just going to buy it today. Because I really enjoy, uh, you know, Lionhead Games, which is black and white, black and white to uh, the movies. But anyway, now I installed it. And of course, I was getting black characters, meaning their heads were black, their their bodies were black, it, just everything was black. Like there's no textures, and it was crashing randomly. And it was like, what the heck, man? What's going on here? So I just decided to go look around, and I forgot all about a utility I use for other games. And it was like, what the heck? So what you're going to be wanting to do is you're wanting to go. Okay, if you want, just uh, I will provide the link for you, by the way. But just type in four gig patch. And this is what you want, is 4 gig patch NT core. It's safe, guys. I use it for all kinds of games. Download the 4 gig patch. You know, put it anywhere you want. All right. And then go to where you, uh, you download it to. For me, it's here. 4 gig patch here. And I've extracted it to a directory. And as you can see here, we have the movies game directory. Just uh, double tap on 4 gig patch and just run it. Like I said, it's safe. If it comes up with a with a, a virus warning, it's it's safe, guys. It's just a false positive. Now make your way toward where you have the movies installed, the game directory, and you're wanting to click on movies.exec. Oh, by the way, if you're running on Windows 10, um, it uses Sec Drive uh, as an anti cheat. Or not an anti-cheat, but an anti-piracy. So you're going to have to go for the no CD uh, executable just to play the game. Microsoft never addressed it. Uh, they they don't give crap anyway. Anyway, after running 4 gig patch, you select the movies exec. Executable successfully patched. Press OK. This here is no no CD version of the exec. It's the only way to play the game, guys, unless you... Uh, uh, install uh, Windows 7 or leave a version of Windows 7 or XP or whatever. And since I'm here, we're going to do it for the Star Maker. So we're going to double tap on 4G patch again. Go to Star Maker. It patches the exec to go beyond the 4 gigabyte limit. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to exit out of here. We are going to double tap movies. Yeah, it was uh, it was showing me. Now, if you're looking to run the game in a different in a different uh, video setting, like 1920 by 1080, I could make another video on that. But um, it's really quite easy to do. But it requires you to go into your registry, which is easy to do, but it's scary as old heck if you don't know what you're doing. I don't know. I'm, I'm still rumbling that through my head, so I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But what we're going to do is we're going to click game real fast. We're going to learn the basics real quick, which I'm going to have to do anyway, because I will be making another video. Welcome to the movies. In this tutorial, you'll learn all of the basics needed to play the game. By gotcha, the time you can gotcha, move gotcha, information gotcha. about characters gotcha. and objects. Great. Now, as you can see, all the characters look good. Okay. Let's talk about how you hire someone or assign them a job. And that is how you fix that issue all right the next video i'm uh, like i said i'm going to show you how to change how to force change your uh your uh video settings is because i think the maximum is 1024 by i don't know what it was uh, it was ridiculous uh, um it was your standard 
or uh, 1280 by 1024. That's what it was forcing it as maximum. You know, I mean, but I, I will be making a, another video on that. If you want me to make a video on that, I'll be very happy to do so. Like I said, in order to play the movies today, uh, that and the, um, and the modded version, or not the modded version, but the, uh, the other DLC that, that you can buy with it, stunts and whatever. Uh, if you do have to own that and install that as well, you're going to have to run the 4 giga patch on that as well. And you're also going to be requiring, like I said, no CD uh, version of the exact files. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to play the game unless you've got an earlier version of Windows 7 or XP. And that's all there is to that. <sighs> I'm not going to provide those links for you because simply because of the fact uh, it's not totally legal to do that. But uh, in this day and age, companies don't give a crap. They'll sell you shit even when they know it doesn't work. And uh, buyer beware sort of thing, right? And it's like, well, you should expect something that works from a company when you buy it, you know? But uh, like I said, Microsoft doesn't give a rat's rear end about fixing anything or anything of that nature. So sometimes you need to go a little bit off into the wayside there in order to... Uh, help yourself play games that we should be able to play anyway take care folks hope you learned something and um and I, most important of all i hope the video helps take care